Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. So this video is a little bit different. We're focusing on two stocks that are, have got potential mergers coming up. And there's a lot of hype on Twitter and YouTube about both of these companies. So I myself follow a bunch of different people on YouTube and Twitter to get stock and trading ideas just like what you guys are doing here. And I've cross-referenced both of these stocks that I bought today and it seems that everyone that I'm following, they all own these two stocks as well. So it's, it's something that everyone's got in common and I thought after the dips that I saw the last few days on both of the stocks that I'm going to jump in and take a small position for both. So first company is Global Technologies LTD, ticker symbol is GTLL. You can see here we've had a massive dip which is amazing buy opportunity, I thought. It's down like 50%. Like stated, you'd never buy up at the high, always wait for these stocks to revert back to the moving averages. This one's shot past the yellow line, which is the 50 day moving average. Um, and it's bounced off some support here. And I took advantage of that dip. So GTLL is trading OTC. It's a pink current stock. They've gone current as of late last year. They're a technology and acquisition company. So, I mean, they've got a bunch of different subsidiaries. Global Technologies, public listed uh, company, Holding Corporation, through its subsidiaries, has operations engaged in online sales of CBD and hemp. So we know since Biden come in and everyone's making weed uh, legal for recreation and for medicinal purposes, Pot stocks are just as hot as green energy. And if you check any of the charts for all the CBD um, stocks, they've all absolutely pumped. So GTLL has got a subsidiary selling weed and stuff. You can see here, I don't even know how to pronounce that, H-M-N-R-T-H. Delaware Company CBD and hemp related products. That's one of their subsidiaries. 911 Help Now is another one as well. The most important one is Markets on Main, which is a full service sales and distribution third party logistics provider, a portal multi channel sales, provide the following service to clients inventory management, brand management, blah, 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 blah. So this is a wholly owned subsidiary of GTLL and they license this out to other companies to be able to use. And they've got a massive partnership with a company called Vinco Ventures. So Vinco Ventures, um, where is it? Their ticker symbol is BBIG. So Vinco is licensed, so they're paying GTLL to use Markets on Main. You can see here Markets on Main is one of Vinco's growth platforms um, that they're using. So people are pretty clever on Twitter. Everyone's piecing um, the pieces of the puzzle together about this potential merger, which is going to be huge if it happens. So it's like, it's not guaranteed, but I've just jumped on the bandwagon because if it does, um, you can see here, what have we got? So this is a sec filing from, um, Vinco Ventures, you can see here, January 20, 2021, Vinco. Acquisitions Corporation uh, entered into agreement to complete a merger with Zash Global Media. So Zash Global Media is an absolute beast. Vinco plans to merge with Zash, but all the hype on Twitter is because the agreement contemplates a reverse triangular merger. So it's a three-way merger. The first two companies are already stated here, which is Vinco and Zash. And everyone is speculating that the third company is going to be GTLL because of the links and the ties that they already have together. Um, yeah, so you go onto Twitter and stuff, all the speculation, people cross referencing like sec filings between all of the companies and everything sort of like linking up. I mean, they can't give away the exact information, but people are speculating that it's going to be GTLL. And that's why I took a position um, in the company. It's trading at like one and a half cents 
So it's an absolute penny stock. And if the merger goes through, we're going to see some serious gains. Yeah, people are talking like 1,000% gains. So I just thought I'm going to take a small position. Uh, put like a 1,000 bucks in it in the hope that this goes through. I know it's a bit, bit riskier. Other videos, we're focusing on companies with strong fundamentals, companies that have got like heavy revenues and are set for, for growth. But these two companies are like pre-merger companies and that's why I took a position. Uh, the second company is NIHK, Video River Networks Incorporated. You can see here it's trading at 10 cents as well. Um, it's had a dip recently, which I took advantage of. It's down like, oh, hang on. <laughs> uh, okay. It's down about 35% from its all-time high. Took advantage of the dip. Um, the company is trading pink current. It just went current, and I'll show you the news on that, but it still has a death skull. So, I mean, the company's been acquired by a whole new management team, and they have updated all of the filings to go current. You can see here uh, all of the filings and listings to go current, and the next step is for the death skull to get taken down. You can see this filing here, um, January 8th. They've paid George Sharp, which we'll get to in a sec, to receive 40 grand. Uh, the purpose of hiring the consultant was uh, to help remove the caveat mTOR, which is the death skull, uh, on the OTC markets. So the second this death skull gets taken down, the stock is going to absolutely pump. Everyone's waiting for that. George Sharp, um, which is... He's like an OTC guru. He helped TSMP go current. We know that's one of the biggest mergers um, on the OTC when they merge with Humble. And George Sharp, the OTC beast, helped get all that done. And you can see here, um, George Sharp represents NIHK. They're now deemed pink current. Also, he's working on, you can see here, still working on the CE, which is the caveat mTOR, so the death skull, but they're making progress. So, going on what George Sharp did for TSMP and Humble and that merger and helping that all go forward and to have him represent NIHK, I think it's good to have him on board. NIHK is going to be a beast. And let's get to what they're merging with. So, the filing for NIHK recently, you can see here, on the 6th of January this year, they filed a S slash 1A filing and we'll go into those details here. So they've sold um, a bunch of Class B common stock subject to an, subject to an offering. So the Class B common stock uh, is necessary for us to make the listing requirements for the NASDAQ capital markets. So essentially what they're doing is it's going to be similar to a SPAC. They've sold a bunch of these shares to raise the money to list on the NASDAQ. And the purpose of all of this is to use the proceeds to acquire an electric vehicle manufacturer. So that's the plans. If we go over to Video River Network's Twitter, you can see the electric vehicle uh, picture here. They're really, really active, keeping all shareholders up to date with all of their filings and all of their news. So they're waiting for the death skull to come down uh, George Sharp's going to help do that, and they plan on doing a, a merger with an electric vehicle company and then listing on the NASDAQ. So right now, we all get a chance to buy this company at like 10 cents, and if the, the merger goes, or when the merger goes ahead with the EV company, uh, the stock price is going to absolutely go through the roof, and it should be NASDAQ bound. So these are the two companies different to what we usually look at, um, but I think it's high risk, high reward. So if and when both of these mergers go ahead, um, we're going to see like 10x or a thousand percent gains. So I added small positions to my portfolio and I think um, some of the biggest gains on all of the markets are these OTC stocks that are merging with companies. You can see um, 
TSMP and Humble, it, it's gone up like a million percent gains. It's absolutely disgusting the amount of gains that are happening on the OTC with the penny stocks. Stocks are going up like thousands of percent, so I'm jumping in on that wave and hopefully we can ride it to the moon. So listen, do your own research. There should be more videos. Um, this is one of the guys that I follow, John. Now, the third stock is a stock I mentioned last week, and that's Global Technologies, GTLL. Uh, this stock closed on Friday at 0.0062. It was up 25% on Friday. Uh, this company is already pink current uh, as of about two weeks ago. Uh, they have... Uh, uh, catalyst coming down the pipeline that they are going to be reducing or having a share reduction of three billion shares uh, yep so they're reducing uh the float so they're returning 3.4 billion shares back to the treasury which is a massive catalyst uh they've already filed all this with the sec you can see this news came out on february 12 um to return like half of the float back to the treasury that cannot be traded is a massive catalyst and we're going to see the stock absolutely pump as well. And what else does John have to say? He'll explain the, the three-way merger and how that all links. Uh, now they also have another catalyst that they're going to be having uh, possibly a reverse triangle merger uh, with a uh, NASDAQ company, Vinco Ventures, and uh, another company as well too. Um, now the way this has kind of come about is that uh, Markets on Main is a wholly owned subsidiary of Global Technologies. Now, this technology of Markets on Main is licensed to BBIG, which is Vinco Ventures. And this technology is used by OPTI, Optech International, as their distribution platform. So that's huge right there that they have these... Um, you know, they're actually tied in with uh, some of these big companies, NASDAQ companies, companies that are running. Uh, I think with these catalysts, especially the share reduction and the merger, GTLL at the price that they had, it's an absolute steal. I could see this thing running to three, four, five cents, if not better. So uh, GTLL, again, we talked about them last week, is absolutely one of my favorite and number three on the list. So big shout out to John for that uh, little bit of a video. Make sure you add him, him um, on YouTube as well. He's one of the people that I follow. I think he's pretty spot on with all of his DD and due diligence. So it's tactical trading penny stocks you can see here on YouTube. So, I mean, all of these catalysts for both of these companies, high risk, high reward, I'm in. And fingers crossed for these mergers. So good luck out there, guys. Do your own research before buying in. Eight.